I have an undergrad degree in respiratory therapy, believe it or not, as a respiratory therapist. When I first was made aware of the Life 2000, I actually was having lunch with a former coworker and friend that's a respiratory therapist. And he had asked me if I had heard about the Life 2000. He explained to me the, the principle behind it. And, you know, I certainly understood non-invasive ventilation, but the thought of being able to use it in a portable system, to be able to leave my home with it, certainly more than piqued my interest. I started trying to find out how I could, um, you know, get a Life 2000, what the channels were, but, you know, how I needed to go through my physician and was put in touch with a representative. February 19th, 2020 is when the respiratory therapist came to my home and changed my life. I was extremely pleasantly surprised. Everyone has been so friendly and helpful. It didn't feel like it was a corporation. It just felt like it was someone, you know, sitting at home on the other end of the phone. So it's not just the RT that I see and have gotten to know. Um, it's every time I call about anything. I can remember the, actually the first minute when the respiratory therapist was here and we started the, the Life 2000. My initial repeat six minute walk with the Life 2000, it was unbelievable. I, I was able to speak with her. Um, my oxygen level did not drop. My heart rate did not go up. It was almost immediate that I saw an improvement. You know, I'll say I could do anything at home that I needed to do. I was able to clean, I was able to cook. It was an easy transition getting used to wearing it at home because I was already tethered to oxygen 24 seven. The Life 2000 literally weighs a pound. So it's just a connector from your oxygen to the ventilator compressor, and then one long tubing, 20 or 50 feet to the ventilator itself. When I leave my home, I, you know, I had been used to using portable oxygen concentrators, but I now would use E cylinders or D cylinders. And the E cylinder I use in a cart, which that actually uses less energy than carrying a POC or a tank. So my only issue was getting it in and out of the car. And I might get three to four hours with an E cylinder. It's the same exact same regulator that you would change on any tank to, you know, to, to increase the supply and change it out. Very simple, it takes a minute to change from one cylinder to the other. I think through all of this, I wish I had had that conversation with my friend a couple years earlier, because I, I, I can't imagine maybe where I would be at this point um, if I had had the Life 2000 longer than I have. It would have made things a lot easier the last two years.